Yeah. What do you Let's do it because we haven't actually done it yet. So D minor works. D minor, the Hado D in D minor? Yeah. Both, both versions are in D minor? This version in D minor. And it's D minor. That's D minor. And which one? The, the first one is in D, the D minor. I'm not sure which one's first. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be helpful. But uh, let him know. Let, tell, tell him because I. Oh, wait. We good? Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Welcome to our uh, Kabbalah Shabbat service today. Um, I'd like to uh, introduce my wonderful musicians here. Ruben Greiner on piano. Daniel Kovari on drums. And Yitzhak Argaman on guitar. Uh, you, I think you already know me. I am uh, Rabbi Grover. No, I'm kidding. No, I am uh, Tibby, and uh, I really hope that you know me by now. Uh, special thanks to, to Rob, who is helping us today with um, the media and the sound and the videos and the light. You see, we got all these nice colorings here in the, in the background, so 
Thank you, Rob, for all your efforts. And uh, let's warm up the crowd a little bit with the beautiful Nigun. We've done this weeks ago. We brought it back to you. Nigun from Hasidei uh, Chabad. There we go. Bring us in. One, two, and three, and go! I can see on the screen everyone is smiling and feeling good before Shabbat, which is great. This is why we're doing it, to bring in that extra little oomph as, as we go on Shabbat. As you know, there's a tradition that every Jew for Shabbat receives an extra neshama, neshama an extra soul. It's called neshama yetera. But if you want to actually benefit from this extra soul, then you have to do something. It just doesn't come, doesn't come for free. You have to eat well, and you have to sing quite a bit, and then you have to dance, and you have to really feel like you're celebrating. Then you'll feel that extra neshama in, in, inside you. And uh, that's what we're trying with these songs to, uh, to kindle that little neshama. So here's a Shalom Aleichem. You can find it in your seat room on page 18. Uh, it's a cool version of Shalom Aleichem, written by Shlomo Brazil, Shmuel Brazil, maybe about uh, 25 years ago, so maybe a little longer than that. Enjoy and sing along. <laughs> We're going to do every stand, every stand up, we're going to do three times, like a good orthodox way. We have enough time to learn the two. Sing along. We're going to speed up and go. Shantan alechem alachi asharit, alachi elyo, mi melech malchi amlachi, akadosh baruch hu. 
Yadid Nefesh, page 20 in your books. Yadid Nefesh, Sing along. Oh, I'm 
שירול אדוני, שיר חדש, שירול אדוני, שירול אדוני, בתחום שמו, מסור מיום ליום יש מקום, ספרו בגויים. To Psalm 97, page 26. It's a great uh, rock song for Orzarua that we sang a few times before, written uh, and performed so many times by Jeff Clapper. <clears throat> so enjoy it and sing along. One, two, three, go! Zadluva, that zadli, who she lives in her. Oh, zadluva, that zadli. Who's 
Everyone together, let's, we're gonna go back to the beginning. Do you know the text? Do you know the song by now? Can we sing it together, everyone? Come on. One, two, here we go. in your books. Oh, if I could get a C major. If I could get a C major. Oh, I love that. You know what I learned from? We just finished singing. Really, there's not too much major in our tradition except Malus Tour and maybe a couple other things. But let's do this one in C major, yeah? Mizmor Shir Hadash Hindi La O Tasa O Shia Lugemido Zero Wakoton. I Nice, Ruben. Thank you. I see. Wow, very nice. Okay, we're on page. Page 30. Adonai Malach Hirgezu Amin. Yoshef Keruim Tanut Haaretz. Adonai Betzion Gadol Beram Hu Al Kol Amin. Yodushim Chag Gadol Ben Al Kadosh Uvel Zmelek Mishpat Ahev Ata Konanta Meishali Mishpat Uzdakal Be Yaakov Ata Asita. Romeimu Adonai Loinu, Vishtachov Lahadom Raglav Kadoshu Moshe Varon Lechanav, Ushmuel Bekorei Shemokori Meladai, Dehu Yaanem. Behamud Anan Yedaber Aleim, Shameru Edotav Echokenat Anlamo, 
Adonna ielo in watamita, mel no se aita la ven, le no que malali ilo tan. Romy move, sing along with us. Romy move, Adonna ielo de no de ista hazu, le tato sho. to finish this together. So we turn to the next page, Mizmor le David, page 32. Mizmor le David, avul Adonai ben Elim, avul Adonai, kavod. Ay, 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 avulat doma, ke mo che mo ista avulat doma i be adatune, avulat doma i alamai la kavod diri. Tarde ya le pasó, hoy a ti te quemó Ay, 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 ay,
36 in your books, Lecha Dodi. Lecha Dodi, Lehi Kakala, Pene Shabbat, Lehi Kabela, Lecha Dodi, Lehi Rakala bene shabat ne kapela shamor bezafor be divorecha tishmi ando ela meyo khadana yechad o shemo echad le shemo le tifere berikila echado ti ti rakala bene shabat Keep going with the group, keep going with the group, that's it. So you guys got the melody? Now I want to see everyone singing. Okay, so far I was been doing this uh, all along. So I want to see and hear you sing as loud as you can. Here we go, Mik Dash Melik, everyone. Ready, sing. Mikdash melech yiv melocha, ko mitzei mitocha, v'charav lach shevet, v'hevekaba atavu yachavu. Alai demla, v'hechado v'hikrakala, v'nei shabbat nekabela, v'hechado v'hikrakala. Kabela <laughs> Yada, 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 yada,
Ladies and gentlemen, with no further ado, I'm introducing Rabbi Louis Sachs, who is going to deliver the Vrei Torah, or as he calls it, the Var Torah, uh, to you. Please. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I got to say, each week, the service just gets better and better. It's such a, a treat having everyone here for this. In our Parsha this week, there's a famous moment at the very end of the Parsha. When Joseph's brothers are leaving, they still don't know yet who he is. What does he do? He hides a cup in one of the brothers' bags. And he goes after they leave, and he chases them down, and he accuses them of thievery. And what is the brother's response? The brothers say that whichever of your servants it's found in, whichever of us it's found to have stolen this goblet, we will die and the rest of us, they, they will be put to death and the rest of us will be your slaves. That's a very extreme punishment, it seems, for stealing a goblet. But what is Yosef's response? Joseph replies, although what you're proposing is right, I'm only going to make the person who stole it pay for the crime. It's interesting. The brothers say we are all responsible. If one of us stole it, that person will be put to death and the rest of us will become your slaves. And Joseph says, even though that's fair, I'm only going to hold the person who stole it responsible. The rest of you can go free. That is an interesting concept because it seems like a very extreme, extreme punishment. And Rashi actually picks up on this. Rashi says, isn't that a little bit extreme? Where in the Torah does it tell us that everybody is responsible, not just the person who stole something? 
Because we know later on in halacha, in Jewish law, if I went ahead and I stole something from, from Rabbi Grover, for example, I'd be responsible to make restitution. Chazan Kavari, Irv, the rest of the staff at Beth Tikva, they wouldn't be responsible, it'd just be me. I'm the one who stole it. But Rashi and Joseph are here saying, actually, the fair thing is for everybody to pay. And later rabbis come in and they tell us that this is actually the lesson of Bereshit. This is what Bereshit, Bereshit's here to teach us. Because all along, we've been having these narratives, these stories. There's not a lot of law in the book of Bereshit, but it starts out, we're almost at the end of it, but it starts out at the very beginning with the story of Cain and Abel, when God asks Cain where Abel is, and Abel replies, Hashomer achi anochi, am I my brother's keeper? He doesn't understand a concept of responsibility for those around him, any responsibility beyond himself. And the entire book of Bereshit is our patriarchs and matriarchs learning this lesson, learning that Judaism says we are responsible for each other. And it took all the way till now for the brothers to have that lesson really be made clear. That if one of them stole it, they are all responsible because nobody intervened in a time beforehand to prevent that. Nobody stepped in to help. Nobody did anything. And it goes back to, there's a great quote from Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel. And he says that in a society, some are guilty, but all are responsible. And that's, I think, the lesson here. That even if we aren't the ones who commit the crime, we have to ask ourselves, what did we do to prevent it? What did we do to help make a more just society, even if we weren't the ones actually making the injustice? injustice, by sitting on the sidelines, by ignoring it, right, where it's un-Jewish. That is not the message of the Torah, it's not the message of Reshit. So our Parsha this week calls on us to remember that. As we enter this Shabbat, as we close out 2020 and we get ready to prepare for a new year, it calls on us to ask ourselves, even if we didn't do the crime, how did we lead to it happening? How, what could we do differently this next year to create a more just society, a more caring society, a community that stands by each other and shares in responsibility. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much, Rabbi Sachs, for uh, the Divrei Torah. Um, I'd like to share the screen with you in a moment. And um, before we move on with the service, I'd like to welcome mourners amongst us, uh, those who just ended their Shiva or they had to interrupt their Shiva uh, to be here uh, with us. And um, once we get that page ready, we have the page ready. One second, just a little adjustment here on my end. Okay, there we see the page. It's a little blurry. Um, maybe we can make it a bit larger. May the Lord comfort and sustain you amongst all those who are mourning Zion and uh, Yerushalayim. And may you not know of sorrow for a long, long time. And now we move on to... Uh, a psalm, Psalm 121, a prayer that we hope will, will offer us strength and uh, courage to overcome these difficult days. Is reaming Adonai, who say Shamayim, Baaris, Aliten Lamot Raglecha, Aliyanum Shomadecha, Inen Oyan, Milo Ishan Shomeri Sadim. Adonai Shumarecha, Adonai Tzilcha, Al Yad Yevinecha. Yom Ha'am Hashemesh, 
my eyes to the mountains, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not yet let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over you, over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. And those who are reciting Kaddish, please recite with me this prayer in place of Mourner's Kaddish. Ribono shel olam, Elohei haruchot lechol basar, Master of the world, God of the Spirit of all flesh, it is revealed and known before you that it is our fervent desire to praise your name and to remember and honor our beloved. By reciting the mourner's Kaddish in a company of a minyan. Though circumstances prevent us from doing so, May our yearning and prayers find favor in your eyes and be accepted and received before you as if we had prayed that Kaddish. May you grant hope and healing to all who suffer, and may we soon be able to once again safely gather in holiness and joy. May your name, Adonai, be elevated and sanctified everywhere on earth, and may peace reign everywhere. Before we wish each other Shabbat Shalom and say goodbye, uh, we'd, let's do another Hora. So we bring that Neshama Yatera back. We, we kindle again that our Neshama and be ready spiritually for Shabbat and for our dinner soon, hopefully. 
Nigun by, by Hasidei Chabad. Here we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> You can even dance the horror, you know, in a socially distanced way. Hi, Doris. Shabbat shalom. Let's go back from the beginning, everyone. Now you know the tune. Let's sing along. Here we go. Wave to us. Hi, Shabbat shalom. Adele, where's your granddaughter? Tell her this is the Shabbos party, as she calls it. One more song, and you can certainly unmute and sing along. The bachelor, the key for Shabbat. You know the tune, sing along with me. And healthy. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom. 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 Haberman, where did Haberman go? Haberman, where are you? Pardon? I couldn't get him.